In example 3 part D, we again have a polynomial, this time a cubic equation on the closed interval from 0 to 4. So we can immediately make the argument that since um, polynomials are everywhere continuous, it follows that k of x is continuous on the closed interval from 0 to 4. And so we can apply the extreme value theorem, and we will do just that. Let's take the first derivative, k prime of x. And so using the power rule, we take the derivative of the polynomial. 3 times 4 is 12x squared, power times base down 1. 2 times 5 is 10x minus 42. Set that equal to 0. And I think I can immediately divide out a 2, and that's going to give me 6x squared plus 5x minus uh, 21 is equal to 0. And again, using the AC method, we can factor this polynomial. We get uh, 3x plus C, uh, I'm sorry, plus 7 times 2x minus 3. 3 is equal to 0, 0 product rule. We set each of these equal to 0. We get x equals negative 7 thirds, or x equals 3 halves. And then we can proceed to our candidates test. So we have x, and our x values are going to be, uh, the left end point is 0. And we can exclude this critical value because it's not on the interval. So we'll just skip over that one. Since it's not included on the interval, we don't need to even consider it. And then we have 3 halves. And then finally, the other uh, end point on the right side, which is 4. And let's see what our f of x values are using the calculator. And we get uh, 7. We get negative. 31.25, and we get 175. And so we can conclude that our absolute minimum is going to be negative 31.25, and our absolute maximum is going to be 175.